I'm Rodonna from Boys and Girls Hairstyles. Today I have Ellen with me. Um, she is a neighbor, well I just moved, but she's always gonna be my neighbor that I absolutely adore. Her and her husband are like the best neighbors ever. So anyway, um, she is darling and I wanna show you her fun haircut. So we're gonna start in the back. Um, just come straight across here. We like this Nabby. just cleaned up and just straight across. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean this up with a little trimmer here. Okay. Awesome. All right, now we will start at the top. We're gonna take you can see like about a quarter of an inch off. Um, she likes it short and easy, but I mean, not extremely short. This is just over a couple inches long. Okay, the, the back we like tight, so we actually bring that in a little tighter, which means I have my fingers up to um, her head, like I can feel it. Okay, so then we're gonna come back up here. Okay. She comes once a month to get her hair cut. Okay, so that's just close by the head there. Same thing down here. And I'm just following that guide point, which is the hair that I've cut right before. When I pick up the other hair, then I connect it to that last piece that I just cut. Again, I'm touching um, her head back here so it's tighter. Because we definitely like it <laughs> to where we don't have to do anything back there. To where it's not pokey, right, Ellen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she and her hubby are just so good to us and our kids. They've been awesome. And But what I get to see them still. I cut her hair and then they have a farm kind of down by my house, the house that I'm building. So anyway, I get to see them down there sometimes. So we still stay in touch for sure. <laughs> okay, so I'm just bringing that length in. Same thing there with that side. Okay, and then by the ear, I hold it down with my comb, her ear, and then just take this length off. Okay, now same thing here. You can see that guide point, see right there? So I'm taking this hair to be that length. And then just down this way. Okay, take that length. Whoa, cut the cut the comb. Doesn't happen often. <laughs> Usually I'm Dropping them all the time. Have to have lots of backups. <laughs> okay. Same thing, I'm just combing that hair and then I hold the ear down with the comb and then just bring the shears up here. Cut that hair away. Okay, and now the top I'm gonna come up here to the front. And she likes to um, <clears throat> wear her hair just kind of up and spiky. So we like this to stay short enough to where it's not extremely long to, to just grab and, and pull up. Okay. All right, now from this middle part, we're gonna go around the head over here to the sides. So you can see there's that guide point. 
Okay, guide point up there. Gonna take that length to there. Same thing. Okay, hold that up. Just come in around the head, a 90 degree angle, which means just straight out. Just cutting into the side. there just pulling this up and piecing that out as far as point cutting so it'll when you piece it out it'll look more um more pieced out <laughs> just the word i was talking about oh goodness okay so take clean this up by her ear And then a little bit through this area, open and shut the shears. Okay, all right, awesome. Okay, now we're gonna come to this side. So we're going from the top and I want you guys to see can see where that guide point is. I'm coming around the head. Okay, then follow that guide point. Just keep following the guide point down to that length. Okay, same thing here. Follow the guide point down the sides. Same thing there. Doing good, Helen? Yep. Okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh my heck, a few years ago, she made the cutest blanket for me. Has um, the red truck on it for Christmas and a, sorry, I was just thinking about that. <laughs> Random, but it is so cute. That is definitely one thing Ellen loves, loves to do is quilt. When I see her talk to her, what you doing? Um, quilting. I'm like, yep, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it. But yeah, she is super good. Okay, now open and shut the shears softly just to piece this out around the face there. Okay, now I'm gonna bring the shears in and you can see that I'm just taking Coming up in a little bit, taking some length off in between. Okay, awesome. Now, um, after we dry, and if I need, you know, to take some more off the bangs, then we can, or if we need to piece them out more, we can. Um, I definitely need to texturize, so we're gonna do that. I just wanted to make sure that this was even. Okay. Now we're gonna take and we're gonna come in. We're gonna come about halfway in. So not down by the scalp, you're gonna come up a little bit. And I just go through and I kinda cut one to two little, I guess I should slow down, one, two, you can kinda see. Okay, this just makes it so there's little hairs, oops, sorry, sweetie, little hairs in there. Um, so it will stick up when she dries it. So uh, it makes it a lot, lot easier to style. Okay, now we're gonna use the mousse. Put this in here. Okay, and a little bit of the volume spray and lip spray. Okay, now. We're gonna dry the back just down. Just move your fingers back and forth. And her hair color, so gorgeous. <laughs> so, so gorgeous. 
makes it fun to, makes the haircut fun too. It was weird for at first, we used to color it, and then finally she's like, oh, I guess I think I might just let it go. Uh, yeah. We did, and now she's, she's used to it now, but it's so gorgeous. I tell her she's lucky because people want light, light, light color sometimes. <laughs> brush in and then we'll go back and forth. Yeah, you can just fill that thickening spray too. It just makes it feel look so thick. Okay, now just coming in, taking the flat iron. And some of you, um, if you just want, you know, the way it looks when it dries, it's kind of more rounded, then that's great too. You can wear it like that. Um, and so Ellen can kind of switch it up. She can wear it like that, or we can do it um, a little bit spiky like this. I do love it because when she goes home, her hubby says that she, that he loves her hair. So I love that. It's a compliment. She just it, can't do it like you. Oh, yes, you can. No, I can't. Oh, cute. Well, every time I see it, it's darling. So, so that's a good thing. All right, now I'm going to take some paste. Rub this in. We're just gonna piece this out. So I like to just grab at kind of the tips and then you can kind of go back in. So I'm like grabbing in and out. Same thing back here. I'm just kind of grabbing at it. Okay, and then I'm gonna come down here. Um, I am gonna turn her to the front in just a second so I can see what I'm doing since there's no mirror in front of me. Oh, cute. Okay, how's that feeling? Looks good. Thank you. Love it. Good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so now, now that I've pieced, you can see how I pieced out this front and her sides. So now I'm just going to back comb a tiny bit just to make sure um, she has this stay. That's the other thing that the texture helps is when um, I cut those little hairs in there, it helps hold in the back combing. Okay, so then I spray it. Then I take my other comb and kind of just put it in its place. Okay, I'm gonna turn it to the mirror one more time. Just so I can make sure it's the where it needs to be. Oh, so cute. See her color, ah, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna turn her around so you guys can see the back. So cute. Okay, well, awesome neighbor, thank you <laughs> so much. She's always gonna be my neighbor. I'm gonna call her that forever. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I appreciate your support. And we will see you on the next video. Thanks.